Hi guys, welcome back to you, me and the family. I hope you are all well and have had a good weekend. Mine hasn't been very good. I've been kind of like laid up quite a lot with a lot of pain, aches and pains, hands and feet and stuff. So I haven't been very active and um, haven't been very productive either. Please ignore the state of me. I have no fake eyelashes on and I look a bit of a plain Jane today I'm afraid. My eyelash extension beautician person has gone walkabouts, I don't know where. The company have just said they not, she no longer works for them. So I've now got to find a new company that can do my eyelashes. I'm in my UDI because yes it is nice and warm outside but I've been walking a lot today. And um, now my body is now suffering for it. I've been to Aldi. I could have done an internet shop, but I wanted to get out while Steve was about with me. So that if I had any difficulties, he could take over and help me get back to the car and all that lot. And knowing me, chances are I won't be going out again this week other than doing the usual school runs and stuff. But um, like I said, I went to Aldi to do the weekly food shop. We didn't need a whole, whole lot. Because there are some meals that I'm transferring over from last week that I didn't cook. So I'm going to do them this week. Plus on Sunday, we are hosting Chloe's um, end of school barbecue for her friends and a few family members. And a few of our friends as well. So it's going to be a big party. So I've got to save all my energy for that. And I will have another haul for you before that anyway because I've got to get like the drink and some food and stuff so there'll probably be an extra haul this week I think I've got a Tesco delivery booked for Saturday morning so it'll probably be Saturday evening that that haul comes up again I haven't got a meal plan but um, some of the meals that I know are transferring over are chili con carne we didn't get around to that chicken and bacon tortellini with garlic bread and um, I know I am doing a chicken curry for tonight's dinner because we had roast chicken last night and I have a load of chicken left over and the kids have decided chicken curry rather than just chicken and chips. So chicken curry for dinner tonight, chilli con carne, chicken and bacon tortellini. I picked up some baked potatoes so I'll do that with something and then we have got other stuff in the freezers as well so there's that. I have got a lot of fresh fruit and veggies blue roll and just fridge stuff really i ended up spending 93.57 so um let's turn the camera around and show you what we got from aldi today shall we here we go guys i'll give you a quick overview of everything that we got the kids are all home from school i had to do the afternoon school run with steve because i had to sign some paperwork at the nursery so I couldn't get this recorded like I normally do while Steve does the afternoon pickup. So I think Chloe and Nathan are out in the garden. Hayley is on her PlayStation next to me and Shane is about doing something else. So I'm going to try and get this done before it becomes really loud around here. So we'll start here. We have just got the bog stand salad cream. Obviously having a lot of salads lately. The kids are going through a lot of salad cream. Chloe picked up some baby spinach, a sweetheart cabbage, and some spring greens for the guinea pigs. I managed to get the 10 pack of the smoothies, the strawberry, raspberry, and apple smoothies for the kids. A big family pack of salad tomatoes, because I'm loving tomato toasties and salads and all that lot. Some beautiful buttery. Two lots of different types of potatoes. I got some British miniature potatoes because mine are on the verge of being ready to be dug up. So I'll probably get a couple of kids to help me do that during the week after school because they like doing that. It's like a treasure hunt. And then I can store them and then I won't have to buy any baby potatoes for a while. I got two packets of the baking potatoes for dinners and sides. Two lots of four pints of milk, whole milk. Steve got his usual evaporated milk. Put that up there for a minute. Something new. My kids are loving Pop-Tarts at the moment. 
I get the chocolate and the strawberry ones, but these are new. They're Top Twists chocolate flavour. So I'm guessing they're a bit of a different topping. They had cinnamon, but my kids aren't keen on cinnamon, so I just got the chocolate flavour this time. Three tins of sweet corn. The usual four tins of baked beans, just to keep us replenished with what Nathan eats. Big couple of bunches of bananas that aren't quite ripe yet, but that's fine because I still have four that are on the verge of needing to be gone or needed to be put in the freezer. Two large cucumbers, salads and sandwiches. Steve managed to get them in the trolley without me realising until they went on the conveyor belt. So that was for him, I'm guessing. We've got some mug shots because the kids are liking these for little light lunches. I've got two of the tomato and herb because Hayley likes that flavour. And then three of the roast chicken. They are mainly for Chloe because she's now finished school. No more school. Prom was done the other day. We are just waiting for her GCSE results and then she could start college in September. So she's having them for like lunches and stuff. Two lots of the garlic and herb croutons because the kids all love them. I got some more jelly because me and my friends are having jelly shots on the weekend. I got one of the strawberry, one of the orange. I've never made jelly shots before, but my sister did for a couple of parties and they go down a right hit. So I've bought the little shot glasses with lids. I'm going to try my hand at making them this week. Obviously, you've got to get the alcohol ratio right, otherwise it's not going to set up. So I've got them. Steve put the Titans in the basket, although he didn't realise I've got about six packets in my pantry. So lucky he hasn't found them, otherwise I wouldn't have them ready for baking. I got Nathan some southern fried chicken straws for lunches. Two jars of the chicken paste. Hayley likes them for sandwiches. They have some marshmallow fluff in. I love this stuff. I absolutely love it. Just by the teaspoon. I don't put it in a sandwich or on toast or anything. When mummy needs a sweet treat, I just get a teaspoon and have some fluff. <laughs> Steve didn't realise how much I love that stuff. Not keen on the strawberry one as much. It's the original, the best. I got a couple of bags of salad mix at 50% off. This is mainly for the tortoises. We've got the mixed leaf salad. There's one here and then there's one further down the counter. Got some orange juice, smooth, some tea bags, although hardly anyone drinks. Well, Steve has the odd cup of tea. My mum has an odd cup of tea when she comes here. And then Lucas occasionally has a cup. So I very, very, very rarely buy tea bags. So I've just run out after having... I bought a bag probably over a year ago and I've got two left because we've now got building work going on and they've been drinking tea as well. So I realised I'd better get some more for backup. Not backup, to be used for when those two run out. Feminine products. Shane's usual green smoothie. He loves this stuff, although he has been making homemade smoothies, which is great because he's making space in my freezer with all the frozen fruit. 40 pork cocktail sausages for Nathan. Some chocolate chip brioches. They are individually wrapped. So they are ready to go to nursery with Nathan tomorrow. Because that is what he has at snack time. As well as pancakes. Because they know he won't touch the stuff that they give him. So they'd rather give him something that they know he will eat. Two packets of the pink lady apples. I'm loving these. And usually they are quite expensive. Like £2.50. But at the moment in Aldi this week they are what less than one pound fifty, so I thought I'd get two packets, and they store really well in the fridge for a couple of weeks if they last that long. I got Shane some slices and sausage rolls and Steve some steak slices. So these are for Steve for work, sausage rolls for Shane and chicken and mushroom slices for Shane. Haley's been having school dinners virtually every day so I've not been having to make any packed lunches. Shane's been taking care of himself. I've just made sure it's all prepped and organised in the cupboards and he knows what system he has to do, like one from each box. The fruit is already portioned out into containers. All he has to do is take a pot of it and he is 
off. He is happy go Larry. He's easy. And it's straightforward. It saves me doing a job. We've got a very prickly big pineapple with a very small head. So that will be cut up shortly. The usual melons. We've got... I just realised there's a watermelon missing. Steve? I think there's a watermelon in the car still. Oh, he can't hear me. He's on Shane's PlayStation for five minutes. Um, yeah, there is a watermelon as well. So there's a trio of vegetable, trio of vegetables, trio of melons here, cantaloupe, gala, honeydew, and then there is a watermelon. I've got two packets of the apple snacks for Shane for school so that he takes his fresh fruit. There is the other mixed salad. We got loo roll because I'm going to have loads of people around on Sunday. Probably people using the toilet an awful lot as well. Um, one loaf of bread because we've not been eating it very much lately. So I don't want it to get wasted. Two lots of the pan of chocolate. Something I haven't seen before. We've got the Power Force kitchen degreaser from Aldi. So I picked that up. Managed to get um, four packets of strawberries. Did you hear me, Steve? I think there's a watermelon in the car still. Okay. Um, yeah, four packets of the strawberries. They look really good, but they had 50% off. So I picked up four, and I keep seeing on TikTok and YouTube and that to store your strawberries in a mason jar. So I've got a few of these, and I'm going to test it. I'm going to decant some of them into this, and see if they actually last longer in the fridge than just in a plastic container. Probably won't last very long anyway, because Nathan will probably have one of these a day. They were about 75p each because they were 50% off. Two of the blackberries. Couldn't get no raspberries because they were all squished and they looked like jam. He's gone off blueberries, so I haven't got any of them. So I'll just have to get some more strawberries and blackberries during the week. I got myself a pot of strawberry yogurt to go with my breakfasts. I'm loving that with granola and fruit and stuff. Two big 1kg of nectarines because me and Shane absolutely loved them this week. We was fighting over the last one. So um, that's why I got two packets this week. So he can have one and I'll have one. We're the only ones that eat them. So um, that is everything that we got from Aldi today. Doesn't look very dinnery ish, but like I said, I've got a lot of the meals already in the freezers and the fridge. We do have some broccoli and carrots and onions and stuff left in the fridge from last week that I'll use up, and then there will be another food haul coming on Saturday for the party for Sunday. So, um, that is everything that I got today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. It really does help my channel out and it really, really does mean a lot to me. I'm going to get this lot put away and I'm going to go look for my melon. No, Steve can't find it in the car, so I've got to find it. Um, take care, guys, and I will see you. Oh, OK. It's on the floor behind me. <laughs> he, he doesn't want to talk, so he's just tapped me on the shoulder and pointed on the floor. Um, take care, guys. Hope you have a great week. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.